Welcome to our channel, Rock and Chuck. Um, um, I'm going to welcome our 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 friend uh, Rock and myself. Uh, I'm I'm Chuck, I guess. And Hi, Chuck. Uh, yeah, to be here. <laughs> yeah. No, nice to have you, here, um, Rock, uh, to discuss some uh, interesting um, rugby World Cup uh, twenty uh, twenty twenty three. Um, what we'll route to the final, and then we can have them maybe a, a preview of uh, of the games, if not uh, if not all of the games, and maybe the the key the key games coming up. So yeah, we let's let's uh, yeah. I don't know what you have to say, uh, Rock. Any anything uh, anything you'd yeah, like to? Uh, it's it's I'm 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 ready for it, Chuck. I'm ready, ready for it. it. I think this is going to be the the best World Cup that we've seen so far. I think there's going to be upset. I think there's going to be some mad techniques and plays that we haven't seen before. But let's get into the predictions, Chuck. I think I've got some serious scores that I've made and predictions I've made and I want yeah, you to, 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 I've, to I've share seen, your opinion on that. I've seen some of your crazy takes uh, and I, I really want to want to know why you said this. So I'm just going to pull up your uh, predictions here. Quickly, Chuck, I'm seeing at it. You. Are you looking at your weird? Uh, I'm not judging you, but uh, there's some crazy takes here. I think. Um, yeah. Oh. So take it away. This is your crazy predictions, and I'd like to know why you've gone for those ones. So tell me exactly what do you think? What's standing out for you as the bizarrest of all these? Probably, um, the one at the moment. Um. Japan, I think, I think that's the the most glaring one at the moment. Mm-hmm. Um, taking everything to account, I don't think they they're the Japan that they were a few years ago. I think they have definitely gone down um, in their performance, and yeah, just I don't think they're gonna really get well, out of the group. Let's, let's- Okay, let's put it this way, right? Let's put it this way. From Pool D, we know there's only three contenders, and that's England, Japan, and Argentina, right? Yeah. So Argentina, I think, is going to come out victorious, beating beating England, but I think they will lose against Japan, purely on the basis that I think Japan has played good rugby and will play good rugby, but... Argentina won't be able to contain the speed and the technique. Um, now, I think so. What's going to happen in this pool, I believe, is it's going to, it's going to come down on points. England is going to lose against Argentina, yes. and England will beat Japan, and Japan will beat Argentina. But I think Samoa. You know, now I actually think about it, you might be right. Eh? Yeah, I know it's. <laughs> Uh, how much thought did you put into this? <laughs> no, but I, I still back myself. I still back myself. You know, I think I think Japan actually, because Japan, I think will beat England. That's what Japan I believe. I believe Japan England. will beat England. Yeah. Okay. But then you also said they're going to beat Argentina. So, so why you put thing, really, I think why aren't you putting them to so top I, the group? So clearly, clearly, I'm, 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 I'm clearly, I haven't thought about this really. I just yeah. think England's going to lose against Argentina and another team. Yeah, I think England's going to see Samoa at the back. I don't know. I I just got a feeling Japan's going to go through. Or Argentina yeah. will lose against Japan. It's just one of those things. I don't know, but I feel it. I feel it. I I obviously think Argentina are going to win the group. I just think their their form's probably been the best. Out of the teams in that group, and uh, for second place, yeah, I, I don't think Japan are who they have been in the past. You know, the the twenty fifteen World Cup uh, with Eddie Jones beating South Africa in that in that pool stage. I don't think they're that team. Um, and then from twenty nineteen, yeah, I don't think the team is at that level um, at the moment coming in. I don't know. I, I think I just I just think that so so let's play it out, right? Samoa beat Chile, Samoa 
loses against Argentina. Samoa loses against Japan. But I that think could Samoa, be a that could be a, a a coin flip there between Japan and Samoa. I feel. I don't think that's a given right, that Japan, Japan win that. Yeah, but I think Japan is going to pull it off. I just, I just, know, something tells me that Japan is going to beat England and lose <laughs> against Argentina. That's that 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 was my original thought. Japan then, will beat England and will so, lose against Argentina. So the three teams will sort of beat each other, and it'll come down to points scored and conceded at the end of the day against uh, the remaining teams in that group. Yeah. So Japan, but Samoa, think, Chile. I, but I think but, uh, I think you might be right on this one. I, England. And Argentina going through. Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, who's, your, who's going to be top of the lock for you? I think Argentina. Argentina definitely take it. They'll, I think I think Argentina will beat England. I can yeah. see that happening. Because of, yeah, I think they, they're in a much better position than they, what they have don't you think that Don't you think that England will lose, win... England is playing Argentina before they play Japan. Um, let me just Check get some uh, fixtures up here. Do you want to have a? Do you want to just look for the? Because I can look at that. Because I've got a feeling that if England loses against Argentina, then they're so the first game. Japan. So the first game of the pool is England Argentina. So that's already a yeah, big game. First game. Yes. And Japan versus Chile. So Japan is going to beat Chile by far. They're going to have confidence. And England is going to lose against Argentina. And they're going to have an internal fight. And they won't be able to contain Japan. That's, so, that's, my, that's my opinion. I mean, this could also happen. Whoever wins the first game between England and Argentina could win the group. You know? Um, but you're right. Yeah. But like, I, I feel like if if teams have like a big game, so to say, then then have like a a tier two team straight after that, and then another big game, alternating like that, I think it'll be much better. So you can sort of rest and rotate your squad if you need to. Then yeah. having three three big games in a row, or two, yeah. So like, um, if England play Argentina. Let's see who they have after that. So England, yeah. So England have Argentina, Japan. Exactly. So two what? big games. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Japan is going to beat England. So yeah, they have two big games, kind of one after the other. Although there's like I don't know how many days rest. It's still. Or they're going to lose against Samoa, bro. Something's going to happen with England. Something mentally, England is not going to qualify. You just hear me out. It's not coming home. <laughs> All those British fucks can just go and <laughs> play soccer, bro. They're losing <laughs> soccer to Dubai, and now they're going to lose their upper world cup yes. to the Japanese. I don't, I don't think he lost it to Dubai. Yes, you're getting your countries mixed up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I, I think you're getting your countries mixed up. Uh, it was it was Argentina that lost to Saudi Arabia. No, no, but I mean, with, I, 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 I mean, it's England is losing the Premier League, my boy. They're losing the Premier League. Yeah, you know, you're sounding yeah, like yeah. an American talking about sport. I think we should stick to rugby. Uh. Oh, okay, right, 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 right. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. So England have Argentina, Japan, Chile, Samoa. So yeah, so they they could be knocked out, quote unquote, after the first two games. Um, because it's it's not the most straightforward one. And let's see Argentina. So, so Argentina have England, Samoa, Chile, Japan. I think that's a better run. Yeah. No, I think you might be... You, you might have the stats behind you, really. In terms of? Yeah. In terms of who's going to go through... Um, but the I, but I back my intuition. You're gonna go for? I mean, I Japan. I choose them as a wild card for the group. Yeah, 
I actually wonder what the what the overall stats are between like what people say. That people like. Do you see what the percentage are? Like, guy, I'm gonna send you what people think will happen. <laughs> uh, okay, let's let let's see what what you have for me. But yeah, um, are we are we done with this group? Are we are ready yeah, to go on? Okay, so the the next group that is obviously a bit crazy for me that you've selected is uh, Pool C, of course. We have to talk about Pool C and the yeah, winners please. and even who you finish, uh, pick second to finish. So why, why have you gone for Australia and Fiji? All right, so I think Wales has been given like all this pep talk about how, how good they are and so on. But I think the way we beat them with like 50 points tells me that they are going to lose against Australia because Australia has Eddie Jones and they have Steve Hansen as the um, assistant coach. Yeah, yeah. That I mean, that was me not really that, assistant coach, but... He was there. He was there as a friend, and I just call my mate. Yeah. Yeah. I just call call my mate Steve. You know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just a, just a mate. I, just, I don't. I just think Australia is going to whack Wales, and I think Fiji. In the previous World Cups, Fiji lost against Wales, and I think Fiji will beat Wales and lose against Australia. I think Fiji is going to have an upset in that group. Yeah, they are they are looking better than they have in in the past, especially um against England in the in that last game. Although England did rest, I think they did rest like a few players, one or two or something. Because I know um what's his name, Marcus Smith didn't start that game. He came on, so I don't know how much of a difference um he can really make because he is the one of their main attackers. Um, yeah, but it's still, they're going into this World Cup with a lot of confidence. And I have got a feeling they will, they will beat, they will beat them. Um, and I mean, Fiji, so, Australia. So, you, so who, who, who do you think? So you're saying Fiji are going to get at least three wins? Yeah. And you, are you just ruling out Georgia? Cause Georgia are probably yeah, a, a wild, they're a crazy wild card. They haven't been, too bad. They beat Wales. Let's not forget that. I don't know if you remember that, but they have beaten I Wales. I remember that recently. But I think, but I think, I think Wales will bounce back from that. You think so? I think, yeah. Your Wales blow hot and cold. You never know. Which no, Wales because you're turn you're right with, you see the first the first game they're playing against Fiji. Fiji will beat them, and then after that, the Wales will be too. Too, too, too prideful to, to let that slip through their fingers and they'll play Georgia very hard and they'll beat them. That's my prediction. So, in that, Australia are playing Georgia in the first game. It's not, uh, not Wales. No, 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 I'm just saying Wales is playing Fiji. The first game oh, okay. Wales are playing is Fiji and they're okay. going to lose and, and then Georgia. And then Wales will come back and, and, and beat Georgia just to make up for themselves. So, so you think, so you say Fiji are going to beat Wales, right? And then they have Australia next. Yes. Australia's going to win that or is, is Fiji going to win that as well? Cause so then they Fiji, also, Fiji... you want to go ahead? No, so Fiji will. Fiji will be, lose. So Fiji will beat Wales. Then Wales will beat Portugal, and Fiji will lose against Australia. And then um, Fiji Georgia. I think it's going to be a, a closer game that you than you might think. That's what you think, Maru? I think it might be a tight game. That I think. I think if you're looking at it face value, I think some people are not taking Georgia too seriously at the moment. Um, I agree that they're not taking them too seriously, 
but I just think they don't have the experience to really put. Yeah, away. yeah, true. I think Fiji. Uh, yeah, I I think like obviously I think Fiji will do well enough to probably edge Georgia, but it might not be a runaway win kind of thing. But I mean, I could be wrong. They could just turn up and absolutely smash Georgia. You know. Yeah, like so. What's your prediction? Do you think Georgia will beat? So are your predictions that it will actually be Georgia that's going to beat Fiji, but lose against Wales? Because I mean, Australia and that, Wales. That could be a spanner in the works kind of thing, you know. Um, they, they, you know, Fiji could beat Wales and and Portugal, but lose um to Australia and Georgia. And then could come down to points at the end of the day. Yeah. So that 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 group there is actually a lot tighter than some might think. But yeah, or am I giving too much to Georgia at the moment? Yeah, I think I think Georgia beat Wales, and I think they did that. Um, let me just double check here. Um, that was in when was that? That was twenty. That was like that was in was it end of last year. End of last year, it was like seventeen six or some something no, close. No, it was thirteen twelve. Okay, that's end of the year. Well, oh. they went in. They went into the game thinking it's an easy game, and they they just didn't care. After Wales had a successful year, they just felt like no. I mean, but, but Georgia. He's not going to come up with it. Yeah, you think because Alan Wing Jones and the boys are back, uh, it's going to make a difference. And what Dan Bigger, because yeah. they didn't play against us, they were just you know I, putting them in cotton wool for this uh, for the World Cup. Yeah, I think you're right. I think they, I think you're right. I think the reason why I think Fiji stands a chance is because the the fact that those players weren't playing in the warm up game makes me think that Fiji. With, as a young team, they're very physical and they're going to dominate up front. And the way that they dominate South, um, Northern Hemisphere teams by just letting the ball flow, it's mm. just going to knock the Wales players completely out of their socks and they won't be able to handle it. Yeah, because they, they showed good hands against uh, England. You know, they didn't yeah. go down, they didn't rock as much and they just tried to keep the ball flowing kind of thing. Which I thought it was, exactly. it's like, I like that kind of play hands, you know, when, when I see yeah. good hands, you know, I appreciate a good offload or like a series of offloads that, that just keep on, yeah, just keep the ball going. And I think that just opens the defense up more because if you offload you, you might not always get one play. You might need two players to take one player down and that creates space, I think. So that's You're why. Right, man. Yeah. That's why I like when, when teams use the hands. You know, draw and, yeah. draw and pass. Draw and pass kind of thing. Exactly. Um, so you're happy with uh, with that group I'm there? Happy with I'm happy with that EG. group. Yeah, so I think... I think... Um, who do I go to win that? I think I went... Um, Australia. Winner of Pool C... Yeah, I think I went Australia to win the group and then Wales to finish second. I just think those two teams are they they probably have some experience in there to uh carry them over the line. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll yeah, see. I think you're right, man. Yeah. I think you're so right. <laughs> So we're done with that uh, right. that we're group. Done with that pool. Okay, so I think we go to pool A now. Um, or do you want to leave that for last? Which one do you want to leave for last? I think we leave think, the bucket for last, so we 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 go yeah. to pool A. Okay, yeah, so this is obvious. There's only two contenders, yeah. Yeah, but it's just the order. Like whoever wins tomorrow wins the group, kind of thing. We think. Yeah, yeah, and I think I think France is going to lose. France, yeah, I want. I would, I prefer to play New Zealand in. No, yes, see, yeah, it looks like France are going to lose, but I don't know how much of, of an effect will the, the home crowd be in the first game. 
Um, yeah, it's just going to be too much, man. I think so I think what's going to happen, and this might actually count in France's against favor. Against them? Be- or for them? Or against yeah, them? Yeah, 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 yeah. They're going to lose against New Zealand tomorrow because it's just, I think, I, I just think it's going to be too much pressure for them, eh? I mean, New Zealand knows that it doesn't matter what happens, they're going through to the, to the quarterfinals, right? They can lose tomorrow and they go through. France, yeah. on the other hand, even though they know that as well, they don't want to go out and lose their first game, right? And I just think, oh, actually, you know, it could be a tight one, but I just don't think <laughs> France is good enough, honestly. The, the players have been dropping um, out uh, with uh, injury. So I think their centre is out, the, the 10 is out. Intermac, Dante, uh, or whatever. Um, I think one of their yeah. props as well. So, yeah, I just don't, yeah, see, I, I just don't know don't how think... stable they are uh, at the what moment. Do you, what do you think? Why aren't we... Because Italy performs well. I wonder if Italy could actually... Like, France I don't think... Dominated. I don't think they, they're at that level as yet Italy. I think... Uh, yeah, I don't think they're gonna really give. They're probably the the team best suited for third in the in the group. I don't know. I don't really rate Namibia and Uruguay. Um, yeah, I think yeah, Italy. It's a funny one. I just because I don't want to see what happened in the Six Nations. Because you know what? I, I think, think Ireland won it, didn't it? Didn't Ireland win it? Yeah, um, I'm just wondering what happened here. Because Italy came close to France, and I'm wondering, the the, the score was 29-24, and I'm wondering if if they might stand the chance to actually they, upset something. Yeah. yeah, do an upset against New Zealand, I mean, against France, because they have them in the, third, because, in, in the fourth game. So it's because they have New I Zealand, think... Uruguay, Namibia. So their their last game is France, Italy, um, for the group. So France's last game is Italy. Yeah. So, so if they the need team? if they need something from that last game, it's, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. You know, if if Italy mm. are still in the in the um, in the group, it's going to be interesting to see um, how how that game turns out to be, because. Yeah. I just want to see Italy. Okay, they have Namibia. They can win that. They have Uruguay. They can win that. There could be two wins that they could easily score enough points. And then they play New Zealand. They probably lose that one. And then against France in the last game. Imagine both teams going for that win. Yo, uh, I think... I think... I think... You think, think Italy probably, could low-key... I think France will put it off, but I think it's going to be a big game. I think we, we shouldn't just count them out. They're going to put yeah, up the no. game for France. Because look here, yeah, if Italy can score enough points against Namibia and Uruguay, first two games, get them, get those wins, then they sort of have like a a free a free chance kind of thing against New Zealand and, and um, New Zealand and France. Yeah, so that's going to be interesting to see how that yeah, but do you out. back that New Zealand? New Zealand is going to be top. Uh, I don't want them to be top. Yeah. I don't. I don't want them to be top. But yeah, I, I think it's all gonna. It it all comes under to tomorrow, you know. Because uh, I I would like I'd like to have France finishing first, New Zealand finishing second, and then. The box coming onto the box. If you want to, we finish top, and then Ireland finish second. So we and play. You want to, so we want. Just, just, just I'd say rather play. Because I think what is going to happen. Yeah. Don't, okay. Don't, don't, I think. Don't. Okay. Okay. I'm going to choose France to top the group. Uh, oh wow! The France beating New Zealand tomorrow. Oh, I think it's, it's going to be. Give me a score prediction yeah. for tomorrow, bro. Give me a well, I think it's going to be like a, I don't know, 24-20 or something. For France? 
Is that final? 24-20? I don't want to pick France, but... You know, cause, yeah, okay, let, let me go. Let me go from... Okay, let, let me go France, you go New Zealand. And yeah, we'll just yeah. see how that ends off. Um, do you want to put something on this, Rui? <laughs> let's say... Let's say... We, no, we'll, we, we'll, 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 choose, we'll choose something later. We'll choose something later. Okay. We'll, we'll, because we'll, we'll, because we'll, I think that could be a, a nice, what's your name? Like a nice... Um, a forfeit. Uh, uh, no, <laughs> man, what do you call it? What do you call it that they put on YouTube? Has link has put on YouTube? Oh, the thing, no, it's, no. It's, like a, it's like a forfeit. When you when you lose something. No, man, I'm, I'm talking about the tagline. You know, on YouTube, the banner that it said then. <laughs> okay, I, I don't know what. No, I don't know what she... <laughs> no clue. No clue. Okay, so, so what's your score prediction for for the game? My score prediction is New Zealand thirty-five, France eighteen. New Zealand thirty five, France eighteen. Yes. Okay. I have that. Uh, yeah. Okay. I I don't think I don't think it will be that big a margin, but I mean, it's the first game. Yeah. Home team are going to need to put on a show. So hopefully, twenty twenty four twenty. Yeah. We'll see yeah. how that works out, you know. Mwanga needs yeah. to have his kicking boots there because he missed against the box and that's that's not like him. So I don't know if he, he was under pressure there in that game. Yeah. So we'll see how I they know, have a go at it. Okay, so... And pool, back, pool B? Pool B. Yeah, I'm going with the box. I'm going to back the yeah, boys to uh, yeah. finish Is top of the tree. Yeah. yeah. Box on top. And then Ireland. And then, yeah, Ireland finishing uh, second. Uh, I just think the box have a better, better sort of run in the group. They have um, Scotland. Then they have, um, well, they don't have Ireland. I don't think they play Ireland in the third game. So it's, you can probably rotate your first and second string team in that one. Um, so you play your first and then your second. And you're first again, then you're second. So I think that'll be good rotation there. Um, yeah, so I, th- I think that's Ooh. how it's going to end off. And yeah, what, do you have anything to say on that? No, I think that's good. Yeah, so... That's good. Yeah, South Africa, Scotland. Oh, then they play Romania second. And then Tonga last. So hopefully... We'll have our points in the bag, and then Tonga will just be a uh, yeah, just kind of secure it, secure the yeah. group kind of thing. And yeah, yeah. um, uh, and 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 the points. Okay, for 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 the first game, the box. What do you think that's gonna? How do you think that's gonna be against Scotland? Um, Scotland, we're gonna beat them far. No, no, no. It's gonna be tight. We're gonna beat them. We're gonna beat them. Twenty-five. Twenty-five, fifteen. That's not a big margin. That's a no, no. no I don't think we're gonna. Take... Scotland's very good, bro. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, Finn Russell, dude. That guy is. Yeah, quite oh. a. And then we got. Uh... <laughs> We got a few South Africans. They're trying to make a name for themselves. So yeah, no, I think right. Scotland. Scotland might even beat Ireland. Like, I don't think they're going to. Um, Yo, that's a it, shout. But I think, but I think they're going to. They are. They we shouldn't. I'm um, count them out, bro. Yeah, you shouldn't. Uh, so, are you happy with South Africa first, Ireland second, and then? Yeah. Yeah, so and then we can also. What's your opinion? Yeah, yeah. yeah. South Africa first, Ireland second. I'm going to go with that. I think, uh, yeah. 
and uh, yeah, I think um, that's that's just the the, the groups for now, and yeah. then uh, we can discuss the the route, <laughs> the further route to the final, because <laughs> we need to still do the quarterfinals and the the semifinals, and then the final. Thanks for watching. For more great content, please like, share, and subscribe. Click the bell icon to keep up to date with our uploads.